To create an invoice, go to the accounting page on the left side menu of your dashboard. Choose between money in and money out, depending on which type of invoice you want to create. Money in allows you to create the income and liability invoices. Money out allows you to create the expense invoice. Let's view an example on a money in invoice. Select money in and then property income. Select the subcategory in category, enter the amount, and select whether you want this invoice to be marked as paid when you create it or if you want it to be available to pay. If you select this and set it to mark as paid, once you create the invoice, the invoice will already be recorded as having been paid in the system. This typically means that you have received the funds already for this invoice. Select the payer or payee, in this case, as a tenant charge and fee, we'll select a tenant, and we'll add some details to this invoice. If you would like, you can upload a file related to this invoice. Once you've entered in all of the necessary information, you can go ahead and click Create. Keep in mind that if the tenant does not have an active lease or a lease on file with you in Tenants Cloud, you will not be able to create an invoice related to any specific tenant. The system requires that there must be a lease on file with a tenant in order to create an invoice. When you're ready, click Create. As you can see, we marked the invoice as paid and indicated when the tenant paid it and how, and now the system has recorded this invoice as having been paid by the tenant. Going back to the accounting tab, there are different types of income that you can record. In the last scenario, we recorded property income. In this scenario, we'll record a general income invoice. A general income invoice is when you would like to create an invoice that is not related to a specific tenant and is not related to a specific property. Simply enter the amount of the invoice. Again, select whether it is marked as paid or if you want the invoice to be open and available to pay, and set the payer or payee. It is required that you select a payer or payee to tell the system where the money is coming or going from. As always, you can upload a file related to this invoice if you would like. When you're ready, click Create. You'll see that the invoice is open and available to be paid. If you have set up online payments on Tenant Cloud, you would be able to pay this invoice online through the Tenant Cloud system as well. In the event that you have a local contractor that you are connected with on Tenant Cloud and they too have set up their online payment system inside of the Tenant Cloud system, you would be able to pay them the funds directly and vice versa, they would be able to pay you directly if you created an invoice for them to pay you. In this scenario, this is a money in invoice so this company would be paying you the invoice. If you had created an expense invoice as a general expense, it would be reversed and you would be able to pay the contractor instead. And that is how easy it is to create an invoice on Tenant Cloud. To get started for free, simply go to www.tenantcloud.com and click sign up in the right corner today.